Hello guys, welcome to Top Notch Tutorials. Today we are going to learn about low pass filters. In the previous tutorial we saw what is neighborhood processing and the basic underlying concept be behind a mask and imposing the mask on an image. Now as I said neighborhood processing forms the base for filtering purposes so in this tutorial we'll be see we will be seeing low pass filters. Now the function as we know of a low pass filter is to pass or to allow low frequency components uh, in the output and to uh, debar or to disallow the high frequency components are appearing in the output. Generally a noise is always a high frequency component. So uh, to remove a noise we use often low pass filters. Uh, since low pass filters uh, are seen to be making the frequency variations more even that is removing the high variations uh, we can also say that low pass filter is smoothening the image. Here I have drawn a 3x3 three three low pass filter mask. Uh, usually a low pass filter mask is nothing but a matrix of ones here is a 3x3 three three LPF mask and this is a 5x5 five five LPF mask. The scaling factors of the LPF masks are very easy to rem remember. Just uh, this is the square of 3 and the, the matrix is of 3x3. Three three. This is a square of 5 and the matrix is of 5x5. Five five. Now let us see how to apply low pass filter mask on an actual image. Uh, now to consider an example of how to perform low pass filtering I will draw an arbitrary image hypothetical one. This is the background the white uh, background ignore the black lines in between and this spot over here is a bright intensity spot. So the high frequency appears at the periphery of this bright spot where the white and the blue are meeting. Uh, that was the concept of frequency as I had explained in the previous tutorial. Now I will just convert this image into more numerically understandable form that is in its spatial representation now as this is the highest intensity uh, spot over here I will give it a greater value say 120 now I will represent this with 10 10 10 uh, say this is 20 20 30 30 30 so as compared to this value the surrounding values are much less which uh, shows the concept of this uh, high intensity present in between low intensity background now we will consider this as our image and impose a low pass filter mask on this now this is my image I will denote it as g of x comma y or simply to some something to denote it with. Now uh, to impose a 3 by 3 LPF on this image I will have uh, to use a concept of virtual row and virtual columns. Virtual row and virtual columns are nothing but just building uh, uh, the replicated rows and columns around the image matrix so that the image is just expanded and uh, we are good to uh, impose this 3x3 three three, uh, mask on a 5x5 five five bigger image so that all the pixels have been processed e uh, more accurately so how do we approach with adding a virtual row and a virtual column this is my image so to add a virtual row and a virtual column 
I will simply expand these columns along their borders and these rows similarly along their borders. This is, uh, I have done this only for this side and this side. Uh, in totality we have to do it in all the four directions around the matrix now I will just show how to replicate or to add a virtual row over here and a virtual column over here simply just copy this element value over here the expanded cell this over here and this over here for the corner uh, cells this has, uh, be, has to be replicated over the, here and also over here but we also have to remember as we add a virtual row and a virtual column we are expanding the image so in this cell that is uh, occurring due to the intersection of row and a column we also have to replicate this value over here as 30 similarly here I have added a virtual column now after drawing the uh, the image again after adding the virtual row and the virtual columns all over along the borders I have my original image over here in this center most 3 by 3 area and the expanded version of it as a 5 by 5 matrix now to begin with the process I will start with uh, the pixel over here this is my pixel of interest this 10 because it is the first pixel of my original image so I will pick this LPF mask simply put it over this 3 by 3 area and as I have shown in the previous tutorials we are going to simply multiply each element uh, with the superimposed mask that is this one will be multiplied with, with this 10 this one will be multiplied with this 10 this one will be multiplied with this 120 and now how do we approach uh, this calculation for low pass filters or for any mask we simply take the average that is 10 plus 10 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10 plus 20 plus 10 plus 10 plus 120 sum and then divide it by this scaling factor that's what I said in the earlier tutorial that we are always taking an average this scaling factor is also the averaging factor divide by 9 so I get 24.44 rounding it up to 24.45 so my I'm redrawing the output image again this will be a 3 by 3 image I've drawn it bigger just to show the change in the value uh, the value that I got here 24.44 I will write it in this element 24.45 rounded up now I will approach similarly by imposing now this mask over this 3 by 3 area where over here 10 3 tens 2 twenties 120 and 3 thirties the center most element will be now the 20 which is the second element in my original image I will calculate the averages as shown and now we will look at how the image will look after uh, doing all the subsequent calculations by moving the mask one by one that is by cell by cell. Now after completing all the iterations of moving the mask over each region as I, as I showed. I get the following values we saw that we first got 24.44 or 24.45 then we got 31.12 when we imposed this mask over this region 
then we got 37.77 when they imposed this mask over this 3 by 3 region now the surprising factor is I got 31.12 which is a far small value at this place where my pixel of interest is 120 where I imposed this mask over the sub the supposedly of our original image and my high intensity value of the pixel became 31.12 now just ignoring the decimals and uh, as well ignoring these calculations I will show you how the image will look after low pass filtering the supposedly smoothened image ignoring 24.45 to 24 just 24 24 31.12 to 31 and this one to 38 and 38 compare the origin comparing this with the original image which was a 10 over here 10 10 20 20 30 30 and the bright spot the star 120 see the low pass filter and the original 120 has been smothered to 31 this is the magic of low pass filtering and using a LPF mask on a image using a neighborhood processing technique now as we go on applying uh, this uh, low pass filter uh, successively we would come across a very blurred image so uh, it's normally not permissible to use low pass filtering on in successions or the image would be entirely blurred now there is another way of adding virtual row and virtual columns over an original image I will just show that here again drawing my original image the 3 by 3 one and now when I go to expand the rows and columns I will not replicate them I would just add a zero like have uh, if you have studied DSPP or SS earlier you would have heard about zero padding this is similar padding zeros all over the border this is also a technique of adding virtual row and virtual columns over image now this becomes my 5 by 5 matrix using a zero padding and we can use again neighborhood processing now I leave it to you viewers to try out the low pass filtering using this kind of uh, padding or adding a virtual row and a virtual column thank you